Hey guys, I'm Bas van Wageningen, a bass player from the Netherlands. I play in a band called Direct and we are here in the basement studio. That's my own place. And today I want to show you guys a new plugin by Softube. That's the WT800 Eden bass amp plugin. Um, it sounds incredible, really useful. And it already was available for the UAD users, but from now on it's also available as a native plugin. And the first bass that I plugged in is this Rickenbacker bass. Um, it's sort of my go-to bass uh, for straightforward rock and roll kind of music. I made a preset in the plugin that more or less acts like uh, uh, a big stack on high volume. So check it out, it sounds like this. And the cool thing is that um, uh, it really responds natural to uh, pedals. I like to add some drive to my sound or I like to uh, color my sound before I go into an amp. Uh, and most of the time when you use a DI, that just doesn't work. Uh, and because the fact that uh, WT800 uh, responds that natural to, uh, to its input, it works really well with pedals as well. So uh, I add this drive to it and then you get this. The second bass uh, I plugged in is this Fender Jazz Bass. Uh, I really like it, it's versatile. Uh, right now I've got some flats on it. Uh, and uh, I made a preset that's, I think, some sort of a modern uh, DI bass sound uh, with a little bit of uh, flavor to it. Um, and it sounds like this. Um, again, it sounds really natural, like a normal amp would do. And I can imagine when you're in the studio, uh, tracking together with a drummer, and this is what you're hearing on, on your headphones. Um, it, it just helps your playing, that it's, it sounds and responds natural. And the third bass I want to show you guys is this uh, Beatle bass, Hefner bass, violin bass, whatever you want to call it. Um, I really love it, did a lot of recordings with it. it uh, yeah vintage bass got really that vintage tone to it um, and what I did is I made it some sort of a, a B15 flip top kind of uh, preset uh, in the in the WT800 plugin um, and it sounds like this so check it out Just like with the Rickenbacker bass from time to time, uh, I like to add some effects. Uh, this time I did it with a plug-in. I put a little uh, spring verb in front of the, uh, the bass amp. Um, and with the bass like this, uh, it can give some nice flavor. And the way uh, the amp responds to that, uh, that verb is, is really nice as well. So listen up. Another cool feature uh, is that it's not only uh, usable for bass guitars. Um, I played around uh, with just like an 808 kick uh, bass sound uh, that's pretty common in today's music. Uh, and I noticed that uh, the response to, to that uh, input is really cool as well. So I show you what it sounds without uh, the WT800. That's just uh, this. And I made a preset with some uh, compression and sometimes it's hard to control an 808 sound. Um, and this is what the WT800 does to it. So really nice to the sustain. Without. with with 
Altogether, I think this is a really versatile uh, plugin. Um, really managed to capture the character of a, of a class A bass amplifier uh, into a, a piece of software. Um, it's really cool that you can tweak with the mics, you can tweak with the speakers, you can combine them, uh, but it never feels like a toy. It is something that I would really use and have as a go-to place to, to start making a nice bass sound. I can imagine adding like uh, a guitar amplifier uh, a mic to it, but it's always nice to have some steady uh, low end going on in your session. And um, that is what uh, what this thing does really well. Um, you can be creative as well, put some synths through it and uh, just have fun with it. Um, go see it for yourself, enjoy, and uh, see you next time. Ciao.